the world, the palm, the anointing, the presence of God is here at Believers Ministries Incorporated, Obina Road, Benin City, Edosteg, Nigeria. For more information, log on to our website at www.believersministriesincorporated.org or call the number showing on your screen. Put down the book of John 8 verse 12. Then I will hurry quickly to the qualities of a follower so that you will know whether you are a follower or not. Then spake Jesus unto them, saying, Then spake Jesus unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. He that followeth me, he that followeth me, shall not walk in darkness. Now, what is the meaning of that? It means if you follow a vision, if you follow a mandate, your life will not reveal the contradiction. If the ministry is known for supernaturality, you cannot be different. If the ministry is known for consistent progress, you cannot be known differently. In anything the ministry is known for or is commissioned by God to be a blessing to people, you will not be different. You carry the same grace. You are blessed by the vision. Read that scripture again, verse 12. Then spake Jesus unto them, saying, Then spake Jesus unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. He that followeth me, he that followeth me shall not walk shall in darkness. Shall not walk in darkness. Your life will not be a contradiction. It means what the ministry have capacity to do. Your life will not be seen deficient of it. I'm light, follow me. Darkness will not be in your life. Very simple explanation. Now, what are the qualities of a follower? Because you are itching to know. Number one. Philippians 2 verse 12. Bless her. Philippians 2 verse 12. Let me just itemize them for you. So you begin to assess yourself whether you are a follower or not. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Number one, people who only are dedicated when the vision bearer is available, they are not followers. They are workers and they are members. How do I know a follower? Is he who is committed to the ministry, to the vision, when the visioner, the vision bearer is not around, their commitment is even in a higher dimension. Because since the visioner is not around, so the work will not spoil in his absence. Because if the visioner is around, the vision cannot spoil in his presence. He has the courage to repair any spoilage. But when he's not around, there's a possibility of spoilage. So let me put in my best to ensure that the vision is not spoiled. They are the followers who obey, who are serious, who come early when they know that the pastor is not going to be in service. Who are committed when they are aware the pastor will not be around. Who are committed even though they are aware the pastor traveled. Whose decision is to make sure the work remains unshaken by the enemy. Who pray more when the geo is not available. Who do evangelism to grow the church. When he sees that the Jew is not around and the church looks as if it's going down. Committed in the absence of the visionaire. That's number one. That was Philippians what? 2, 2 12. Verse 12. 
Verse 12. That's how you know a follower. I dedicate everyone that is listening to me. May God change you from being a member, from being a church worker, to become a follower in the name of Jesus. Amen. Matthew 11, verse 6. Who is a follower? And blessed is he. And blessed is he. Whosoever shall not be offended in me. Now, a follower is he who takes no offense in the ministry. Who takes no offense in the visionaire. Now, no matter how the visionaire operates and behaves against you, you are not offended. You see, you are blessed. You can't be cursed. A follower is he who is never offended at the administration of the visionaire. Who is never offended at the way he does his things, even though it's not to his pleasure. But he's not offended. Number three. Luke 23, verse 39 to 43. And one of the main factors which were hanged raid on him, saying, And one of the main factor, factor, one of the thieves that were hanged along with Jesus, raid on him, saying, If thou be the Christ, if you, are, if you are Christ, save thyself and us. Save yourself. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Doth not thou fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? It's all right. Number three, a follower does not reproach the visionaire. You don't laugh at his deficiency. You don't make a mockery of his disadvantages. You don't speak against the visionaire. When you see a member saying words against the, the pastor, you've seen somebody who is not a follower. Don't follow him. Run away. It's very safe not to speak against the visionaire because he will hear. It's a matter of time. It may take a long time, but he will see here. God will manipulate events and people until the news get to him. He will hear. I defeat my enemy by love. I don't fight back. I see that you have positioned yourself to be my enemy. I begin to love you the more. Bible said, he that repaired good with evil, evil shall not depart from his house. So evil is mandated to locate you. If as good as I am to you, you are still dealing with me secretly. Evil must find you. Not because I cost you, but because it's scriptural. Follower don't castigate their leader. Follower don't speak against their visionaire. You will not be made by the mantle he carries. He may pour oil on your head 21 times. How can you be made a leader by a visionary and you are castigating the visionary that made you leader? You are speaking evil against him and against the church where you are supposed to be a leader. Are you like that? Don't answer. You will not be made. Who are those that are made? Follow me and I will make you. There are people who don't speak evil against their leader, who don't castigate their visionaire, who don't ridicule the visionaire. You wonder, I, 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 I don't know, I've been in this church, I don't know what's happening to me. Yeah, you are a worker. You are not a follower. But there's hope you can change. Write down this reference. Luke 9, 57 to 62. I hope you are taking note of the features of a worker. A member. Feature of a follower. And he said, came... blessed are those who are not offended in me. They are just committed. They just, once, once you have a vision here, your duty is to love him. For what reason? Because he's my vision here. Is he perfect? No, he's not perfect. I'm mandated to love him passionately. 
That's the order. That's what provokes a blessedness. You don't get angry with your vision here. Yeah? Castigate you, insult you, smile. That's where the blessing is. It doesn't reduce you. When you say, Upi yo, huwebo, ho. The beak of a mother hen does not kill the chicken. Can choke you many times. It's to correct you. I dedicate everyone listening to me. May God eh, promote you from being a member to become a follower. Amen. I was expecting a louder amen. Amen. May God promote every member here that you will not just be a member. May God promote every worker. You will not just be a worker waiting for compensation, waiting for salary, waiting for what the church will give you. And when you are not giving, you are angry. May God promote you to become a follower in the name of Jesus. Amen. I know there are some zona pastors. If we transfer you today, <laughs> uh, then, then we know whether you are still a follower or you have turned to a worker. We gave you the work. It's not your own. It's your platform. We gave you the so we can remove you at any time. If you are a true follower, you smile. When, what is the next assignment? Say go to village. Yes, sir. That's a follower. That's when you are made. That's what qualifies you to be made. Read that reference for me. Who is a follower? And it came to pass that as they went in the way, as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, a man said unto him, Lord, Lord, I will follow thee. I will follow you. Whithersoever thou go. Where, wherever you go, I will follow. It's very easy to say, I want to be a follower. He said, wait, let me tell you. Go ahead. And Jesus said unto him. And Jesus said, look at the features and the qualification of a follower. Foxes have holes. Foxes have holes. And the best of the air have nests. And the birds have nests. But the son of man. There is comfort for birds. There is pleasure for other people. But those who want to follow me, they have, must not consider pleasure in the assignment. They don't consider pleasure. If they are not pleasurable, they don't complain. They don't grumble. So let me tell you, to follow me, pleasure should not be your main pursuit. If, if pleasure is your pursuit, you will, you, you, will, you will shed tears because it's not forthcoming. You must be tested first, whether you are a pleasure seeker or a purpose pursuer. To be a follower, you must not be a pleasure seeker. Seeking for the pleasure of the ministry. And Jesus said, to follow me, pleasure should not be your motivation. Oh, put your hand together here. Yeah. I dedicate everyone that will be a follower. May God make your destiny for you. Amen. He said, follow me and I will make you. Follow me and I will make you. So anyone that comes because of pleasure, he can't be a follower. He said, master, let me follow you. He said, let me tell you, if you are to follow me, pleasure should not be your pursuit because it may not come at the time you want it. So that you will not be disappointed. Go ahead, my son. And he said unto another, He said to another, Follow me. Follow me. But he said, He said, Lord, Lord, suffer me first. Underline, suffer me first. To go and bury my father. Anyone who's to be a follower, the vision, the ministry must be first in your consideration. First. There are other conflicting agenda, other conflicting issues. But when it conflicts with the ministry's activity, you know, a follower says, well, my church first. I love my church. When I finish from my church, I will come. Can I hear a louder amen? Amen. amen. When you make your vision, the vision 
of the mission first in your heart when you are considering engagements that is what makes you a follower not just a member not just a worker but a follower and only followers are made by the mandate available upon that commission those who come for pleasure those who come for gain they are not made they are the ones that always have hypertension, depression, frustration because their expectation was disappointed. But followers, they come not for pleasure, but to fulfill the vision, to ensure that the mandate is accomplished. And while they are completing another vision, their dreams are completed. Fulfilling your dream in another man's vision. Bless you. That was the decision we took when we were growing up. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. If no one goes with me, still I will follow. If no one go with me, still I will follow. If no one goes with me, still I will follow. No turning back. No, no turning back. Go ahead, my son. Jesus said unto him. He said unto him. Let the dead bury their dead. Let the dead bury their dead. But go thou and preach the kingdom of God. Go and preach the kingdom of God. And another also said, and also said, Lord, Lord, I will follow thee. Go and preach what? The kingdom of God. <laughs> Followers are those who do not compromise the mandate of evangelism. They don't compromise it for any reason. It's first. Let me first of all go and bury my father. I say, well, evangelism first. If the, if the occasion will not give room for evangelism, I won't be interested. Jesus said, don't let burial be first. Let preaching the kingdom of God be first. But you, you go down and preach the kingdom of God. Primary. is primary. Followers makes the vision primary. Makes the vision primary. Makes the vision primary. The vision is primary. You know there are two people you follow. You follow Christ and you follow a man who is following Christ. You follow Christ and you follow the man that is following Christ. A visionaire. Sent by God. First Corinthians 11 verse 1. Write it down. It's not be just, ye followers of me. Be ye followers of me, Apostle Paul said, talking to the Corinthians. Follow me. Even as I also am of Christ. As I'm following Christ also. Now, quickly, look at the book of Acts 8. From verse 1 to 12. And Saul was consenting unto his death. And at that time, there was great persecution against the church, which was at Jerusalem. And they were all scattered abroad throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. And devout men carried Stephen to his burial and made great lamentation over him. As for Saul, he made havoc of the church, entering into every house and hailing men and women committed them to prison. Therefore, they that were scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word. 
those who are followers. It doesn't matter where the circumstance and the breeze of life carry them to. They don't forget the vision of their commission. They are followers. You live beneath. You go to Abba as a youth copper. Abba should not swallow the vision of BMI. That makes you a follower. You must look for how to pitch the flag of BMI as you get to Abba. Where are you now saying I'm in winners? Ah, you that was a leader in believers' ministry, how that vision swallowed you? You were not a follower. A follower, no matter where they go. Philip was blown away from Jerusalem, where the church was, blown away to Samaria. He didn't allow the religious setup in that environment to swallow up the vision of where he came from. He pitched the tent. He kept on preaching the message that he was known by until the whole city submitted to him. He began gradually. One, two, three, four. Anywhere, anytime, T, you have a message that is sellable. And I don't want to see anyone depart from this place and enter any city and enter any town and be consumed by the existing platform in that locality. You must speak out. You must speak out. Talk about the vision. You must teach people how to grow in the consciousness of God's presence. You must teach them the meaning of intimacy. God consciousness and not satanic consciousness. You must teach them how to meditate on the capacity of God and not on the powers of the enemy. You must teach them how to enforce compliance. You must teach them how to know that if your destination is defined by God, the issues in your transition does not have capacity to stop your arrival. The world is waiting for our message. I declare when you depart from here, no re existing religious setup will swallow your message. Amen. As we step into 2019, which is our year of spread. Hey. What do I call 2019? We are moving out of this hiding and I hear the word very loud and clear. Arise and shine. Ah. For the light is come. Hey. And the glory is upon you oh. here. I dedicate everyone here. My God. Wherever you step into, you will shine. Hey. Any office you enter, you will shine. Hey. Any environment you pack into, you will shine. Hey. Fellowship. Wherever you are, never again will any religious platform swallow your vision. Amen. That is the end of my message. Join us every Sunday. Two powerful services. One church. One pastor and one God at Believers Ministries Incorporated. Time 6.15 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. GMT. Believers Ministries Incorporated is located at Plot 159 and 161 Upper Wina Road by Kemwa Road, Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. There is an outpouring grace awaiting you. For more information, log on to our website at www.believersministriesincorporated.org or call the number showing on your screen. God bless you as you come.